hello lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time of stopping by hi nice meeting you for the first time <laughs> please consider subscribing to this channel so in today's video we'll be going into um blazer jacket for adults we've done the one for children is already in the channel i will put it in the description box so today's video is for adults one and for children only we have the cutting and the sewing tutorials everything that you have to do with blazer jacket very detailed tutorial and you will love it so without wasting so much time let's get into the video so for this um tutorial for this jacket the first thing we are going to be doing is to mark our back bodies and from oh, for our back bodies the first thing i'm going to do is to mark a straight line to serve as our starting point so from that starting point i am going to go ahead and mark my um, bust point which is at 10 inches then i'm going to go ahead and mark my half length and my half length i am marking at 16 inches and then the next thing i'm going to mark is to mark the full length of the um, jacket depending on how long or short you want it to be once i am done marking this making these points i'm going to go ahead and extend all the line for a clearer view so once i am done with this from my boss point i am going up by two inches for my chest line i'm going to go ahead and extend the line as well just like i did for others and once i am done with this the first thing i did is to mark my neckline and for the width of my neckline i went in by three inches and for the depth i am going down by two inches i'm going to go ahead and make a curve for this um neckline And the next thing i did is to mark half of my shoulder measurement i'll make a point there and then i'm going to connect this shoulder measurement to my butt to my chest line and then i'm going down by one inch for my shoulder loop and then I'm, i'll go ahead and connect it to my um, shoulder line that's our starting point once i am done with that the next thing i am going to do is to insert um, quarter of my bust measurement that's my bust measurement divided by two i'll make a point there then i'm going to go ahead and insert my um waist measurement divided by four as well and then i'm going to connect the line the points when i am done then for my hip area from the from the hem of the fabric of the jacket most times um if yours does not get towards the hip there's no need for you to use the hip but my it went towards the hip or will go towards the hip that's why i use my hip measurement for the hem so that's my hip measurement divided by four and then i connected all the lines i'm going to go ahead and then and make a call for my armhole So all we are trying to do is to cut out as a, our basic pattern that will help us or that will guide us to towards achieving um, our blazer jacket. Then the point I am marking now is half of my nipple measurement, which is two, four inches. So I'm marking it all the way from my bust measurement, from my bust point, all the way to the hem. Hem. Then I will connect this with a straight line. So at my waistline, I am going in by or out by half inch on both sides. And then I'm going to connect this to meet my my bust point. You see the way I connected the line? Please go ahead and do the same for yours. And then I'll connect it to meet my hemline as well. And then at my center back, that's at my waistline center back, I am going in by half inch. This is just to give it that curve 
of a jacket i don't know how to explain explain so instead of being straight it's going to be have a more curvy um pattern at the back one i hope you understand this but you can skip this if you don't want that then i'm going to connect these lines just like you see me do please go ahead and do the same then the next thing i'm going to do is to replace the dart measurement that we have at um at our waistline i'm just going to go ahead and replace it and then i'm going to slant it you can as well measure every part of the um that but for me there's no need just the way it's going is looking at the that area is the same way i'm going to connect this or at that side just to replace the dart and then i've decided to add my shoulder dart for this pattern and for this i'm going to measure my shoulder from my neckline to where my armhole ends i'll divide it into two make a point there and from that point i'm going to go ahead and def and connect it to my bust point or my chest line you can skip this pattern if you don't want to use a chest line i just decided to use it there's nothing um it won't change anything if you don't use it or it won't change much thing then for my hemline i went up by half of an inch i'm going to go ahead and curve this if you want your jacket straight please skip this um part this part but i just want it to have a bit of curve if you want it more curvy you go up more for this so the more you go up the more it's curvy is going to be and that's basically all for the back pattern before we go into the more complex one please hit on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed up to this moment and to my old subscribers i say thank you very much for all your support i really appreciate it it's, i appreciate you guys thank you very much so our back body is ready so moving on to our front bodies i am sorry that is a little bit darker than the first one these videos were not made on the same day so the first thing i did is to went down from the um from my pattern paper i went down by six inches then from the side i went in by five inches i hope you understand from the starting of my paper i went down by six inches then from the side i went in by six, five inches so i'm going to go ahead and connect the line so these two points are going to be our starting point instead of the normal starting of the paper so from that point i am going to go ahead and do the same thing that i did for my front bodies that's marking the basic bodies for my marking the basic my basic bodies bodies so that's i marked my my waist my bust point my waistline the hem of the jacket that's the length of the jacket And I'll go ahead and connect all the lines as well. So the only difference for the neckline is that I went down by 3 inches for the neck depth for my front um, neckline. But every other thing for the neck is the same as well. I'm going to go ahead and the second difference from the front and the back is that I measured my from my shoulder sl slope to my bust point. Whatever I have there, I made a point at the center, then go in by 0.5 inch uh, inch. That's another difference from the back and the the front. So I marked my post measurement divided by four and i'm going to go ahead and connect the three points that's my bust the half inch i went in at the armhole and where my shoulder ended then i'm going to go ahead and insert all my bust measurements starting from half of my nipple to mission measurements so once i am done inserting half of of my nipple to nipple measurements i'm then i'm going to go from my bust point i went down by one inch then at my waistline, I'm going in by 0.5 inches and then the other side 0.5. Just the same way we did for our back bodies. The only difference is that from my bust point, I went down by um, one, 1 inch. And I also connected it to our waistline as well. Then every other thing will be the same. 
just inserting my measurement divided by four and then replacing my dart as well so i just noticed that um, i did not add allowance for my um, bust area that's why the measurement was like that so i just replaced my measurement so we are going to go ahead and from my neckline i went in out by one inch and i'm going to do this one inch all way all the way to the hem this one inch is for our button if you notice that the back body doesn't have any zipper so this allowance for zipper or for button we just added it to the front one so i'm just extending to the extending the neckline to meet the one inch that we just marked and i'm just going to go ahead and determine how long my lapel is going to be it depends on what you want but for me i want mine to start from my waistline or to end at my waistline so my waistline is what i'm going to use as guide and i'm going to go ahead and slant this to meet my neckline then from the one inch that we marked we are going to determine how wide um our lapel is going to be for me i just went out by one inch but if you can do 1.5 you can do two inches or three inches depending on how big or wide you want your lapel to be but for me i just went out by one inch and then slanted it to meet um the waistline that we marked so i'm just cancelling cancelling out this line this one is no more needed because we have a new line of lapel so this is the reason why we marked we marked our back bodies first i'm going to go ahead and measure this back neckline because we want to use it to cut out our collar and for this i have four inches so i'm going to go ahead and mark four inches up up where it's not going to be a straight line just like the star lapel um slant slant is coming that is same way you're going to slant it upward by four inches or how many inches your um your your back neckline is and from that line we just marked we are going out by 0 0.5 inch so that the collar can sit that it can sit properly um on the on can see properly so we are cancelling out the first one that we just marked so our new line is the 0 0.5 inch that we marked marked and then from there i am going out remember the line is not going to be a straight one i am marking at 3.5 inches for um the width of our uh, collar and then i'm going to go ahead and connect this in a slanted form then from that um lapel from my neckline where i am now i am going up by 0 0.5 inches this is just to create a space between the collar and the lapel if you look at the jacket you always see a space there so that's what we are, going, we are trying to create so once i am done with that we are going to use our french cuff to make a curve to connect these two lines just try to place your curve well or you can use your line to your free hand to do it just remember that it's not going to be a straight one a straight line so this is our collar our lapel and our board back bodies please pay attention to see how i cut this out you don't want to make a mistake of cutting it wrongly so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and we are coming towards the end of the video i hope you really enjoyed this video don't forget to share my videos please to family and friends please watch my ads please that's the most important part <laughs> to me because that's where um we get little token from please watch my ads to the end so this is our lapel and this is how it's going to look once you are done with the um jacket so this is our collar as well and our lapel and our body yeah, so this is our back bodies that we cut out the other day <laughs> so because our back bodies have um has a shoulder that we are going to go ahead and do the shoulder that for our front bodies just like we did for the front one divide it into two and then connect to the boss point if you want to skip this there is no problem please skip this pattern this shoulder body this shoulder that sorry but if it's what you want please go ahead and do the same thing so once i am done with it i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that we did for the front one i am going up by 0 0.5 inches 
and then i am going to go ahead and connect it to um connect it to and connect it <laughs> so that's all for the bodies i'm going to go ahead and cut out the that just like i did for the front one so the only difference why i'm um, stitching this down the only difference from the children pattern or stitching is just this that all you have to do is to close up this dart for um your main board fabric and then close up the dart for your lining you know your lining is going to be different from your bodies why once you watch the 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 one for the children you understand what i'm trying to say so once you close it you have if one um, one of it one for the back and one for the front i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm just learning it to make sure i don't mix it up please give me a thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching bye